Okay, so I'm gonna do do this a different way here. I'm uh, filming this uh, tour of the site of what would have been the 2020 Republican National Convention here in Jacksonville. Um, just gonna do this by YouTube. I'm just gonna upload this video into YouTube. But uh, I'm on the side of Five Star Memorial, uh, Veterans Memorial Arena. This is where the convention would have been held. Now that right there is a police uh, memorial for those officers here in Jacksonville that were killed in the line of duty. Uh, this is it here. This is the site, it's a beautiful site. Um, you also have here, uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in on it here. Uh, Purple Heart Trail, right there. The Purple Heart Memorial. And then uh, all around here, it's just this is kind of the the fun part of the of the town of the city. One of the fun parts of the city. This is the uh, Jacksonville Fairgrounds where they have the annual Greater Jacksonville Agricultural Fair. There's nothing here right now, obviously, going on. No fair going on, but. Uh, it's huge fairgrounds. Uh, when it when the fair happens, you know it's there. Oh, believe me. Um, I used to love coming here every year. That was one of my favorite things to do growing up was going to the fairgrounds. Uh, but you have the uh, fairgrounds. You have this uh, memorial arena, and then you have the uh, the NFL stadium, the uh, TIAA Bank Field. Uh, where the Jacksonville Jaguars plays. Um, and then you have a baseball field, Bregan Field, to the left, just beyond this church. So, once again, here is the Purple Heart Trail. So, again, this would have been so fitting. Because you know how patriotic we are as Republicans, right? We celebrate the military. We celebrate um, police, law enforcement. This would have been perfect, i tell you what. I mean, you know, they're prettier cities to go to, yeah, I, I admit, but this would have been perfect for the RNC uh, 2020. I mean, just think of, you know, defund the police, you know, and all that stuff, you know, with the crazy Democrats or and these communists are, 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 are proposing. And what a, what a good optic this would have been, you know, for Fox or whatnot. And, uh, OAN to uh, interview people right here in front of this police memorial here where where it memorializes people that have given their lives in the line of duty um, you know this, this would have been perfect you got baseball this is America I mean there's nobody here right now obviously this is ghost town at the moment I mean there's not nothing going on at the moment but you know could imagine the convention goers you know tens of thousands of people here between you know visitors and delegates and alternates and and um media and security and and, and vendors and you name it right police i mean this this is america this this would have been the full of life full of life right here so this is the baseball arena i mean you know it's just, what's more american than a baseball game right and of course, the football arena. What's more American than a football game? I mean, you know, this is, this would have been just the perfect setting for um, an all American 2020 Republican National Convention giving uh, President Trump a good send off for the remainder, for the apex of his reelection campaign. This would have been wonderful. I could see why they picked this place. I mean, I'm a little partial, a little bit biased because it's my hometown, my original hometown. But, uh, you know, this is where we would have hung out, right? F for the better part of this week. All around here. The Jacksonville Jaguars. And that that's about ready to ramp up. Um, you can tell things are starting to 
you know, preparations are being made for the season. This is awesome. I'm just glad to be here. You know, just to visit mom and dad, but also just kind of share with my fellow Republicans that would have come here for the convention. You know what? You know what it would have been like, right? There's also speaking of all American, speaking of uh, patriotism. I cannot. I would be remiss if I didn't show you this spot right here. Now remember, this is where we would have hung out. But this is a veteran's memorial wall with an eternal flame. I'm going to go ahead and illegally park. But you know, you notice memorial this, memorial that everywhere, right? All over the place. Well, I'm going to park. I'm going to shut off this my vehicle. And I'm going to walk out. Kind of a... Uh, sorry for the amateur handling here. But this is, you know, just up close and personal, you know. So again, this is... Uh, this is where we would have hung out, as you know, for the convention. We would have hung out here and taken pictures. I mean, just imagine being here, excited, just jazzed up, feeling like, you know, I mean, just face it, right? We've been under assault, you know, from within. People trying to tear down our nation and our heritage from within. Even da going down to tearing down uh, police and our constitution. But just imagine, right? Just imagine. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you would have taken pictures, uh, you know, as groups, right? We would have hung out. I would have, I would have had us Washingtonians, uh, us uh, delegates, come out here and take photos right here General Dwight D. Eisenhower President Eisenhower look at this how befitting is this look at that but this takes the cake right here look at that starting here Global war on ter terrorism, right? But then it doesn't stop there. World War One, the names. Say the names, right? Could have taken pictures, right? Of us Republicans honoring the, the dead, right? Who gave their all in support of freedom and defense of freedom, the very freedom that so many are taking for granted. Right? Look at all the places that Americans have served in during World War II. Familiar names and unfamiliar names. Look at all that. You see this? Look at all the names. People that died for the freedom that we are trying to defend today. Look at the eternal flame. We would have taken pictures here. Right? Here, let me get a, let me show you other parts of it Duval County Veterans Memorial Wall in proud remembrance and humble tribute may their names be remembered forever look at that it doesn't stop there I and mean, look at the flags too by the way Man. the Korean War it's not forgotten not here. And the Vietnam War, where my father served. Right here. Look at that. Names of faraway places that down below that our people have served in, our, our fine military has served in. Right? Look at that.
and he even goes by high schools too I, just, I, I did I failed to point that out um, you can see these are all locals right this commemorates locals um, my high school was built in 19 65 so my high school would not appear on the Vietnam Memorial Wall necessarily but I could be wrong. Oh, here it is yes I know I was wrong right here yes that makes sense Samuel Wolfson High School that was my high school so I guess uh, these names all right here attended my uh, same high school I did and they have died in the line of duty in Vietnam. And then the Persian Gulf War. Wow, look at that. And then added after September 1st, 1995. So these are names of uh, veterans that died in war. Um, and it goes and it shows you what wars too, including Medal of Honor recipients. There are four of them right here, just in this spot alone. Now, I remember the Washington Soldiers Home Cemetery, the cemetery, the oldest soldier, older, oldest veteran cemetery in Washington State, which only has 2,265 veterans buried there from over 111 years. We have four Medal of Honor recipients buried there, just from that one soldier's home, which is, that just shows you how unusually high of a concentration of Medal of Honor recipients there are, there is rather, in one small cemetery there. Um, whereas here in Jacksonville, it's a great big city, pretty good sized city, and there's four, you know, in that one spot, but there's more, there's more here. Um, but. It encompasses the whole city. See, there's a Medal of Honor right here. U.S. Army Air Force Medal of Honor recipient right there. World War II. So there's looks like five Medal of Honor recipients on this whole wall. Um, we've got four at the Washington Soldiers Home Cemetery. That just shows you how special a place that is. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll go show you the other parts of this so I think I missed a couple of spots just imagine we would have uh, we would have taken pictures here Douglas General Douglas MacArthur Wow look at this I can almost hear the ticking of the second hand of destiny we must act now or we will die I mean how befitting this would have been for this convention I mean our very freedom is at stake I mean, we're choosing between freedom and communism in this election. Lieutenant General Buck Bedard, democracy and freedom are paid for by the sacrifice of soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Their memory shall never perish. And then, oh, <laughs> President George H.W. Bush, the elder George Bush 41. Achieving our goals will require sacrifice and time, but we will prevail. Make no mistake about that. How befitting that would have been for the convention. And just one other part of the wall that I missed. These names added after September 1st, 1995. And the services the Merchant Marines, the Coast Guard, the Air Force on this side, and then, of course, the Army, Navy, and Marines on the other side. So this, this is part of what we would have done together. We would have taken photos here and paid homage and, and uh, respect to the dead, uh, to our heroes that gave us, that bequeathed us this great, wonderful nation that we have, that we treasure, that we are working for for its survival god bless you thanks for enduring this uh, long video with me i hope you got something out of it